Hello and welcome to this video edition of Technomicon Media. This week's Game Tech article is a revisit on Final Fantasy XIV at the one year anniversary mark. This is Matthew and uh, first thing we're going to be looking at is the new uh, Primal Encounter with Ifrit. Uh, this is like the the main new content uh, dungeon party wise for 1.19 and uh, it's a very fun fight uh, compared if I was to compare it to uh, Darkhold Keep, I'd, I'd say it's it's quite a bit more challenging than the Patrol fight, and certainly a lot more dynamic. There's a uh, a lot more moving around. There's there's all these sorts of you know standing in fire type scenarios uh, for people that are familiar with that analogy. So there's a lot of movement, a lot of things going on. Uh, my role in this fight is. Um, uh, enfeebling uh, DOTs and uh, backup heals on the main tank. Uh, what uh, what we do and what's shown in this video, <clears throat> uh, my role at least, is to uh, keep uh, DOT effects, damage over time effects, up on uh, Afrit uh, because periodically he will jump and this prevents him from regenerating health while he's uh, invulnerable, while he's doing his jump phase and uh, of course, here we have a big time Lancer party with a Marauder tank and uh, a few other conjurers as a uh, main tank heals and then uh, party heals as well. It's certainly gratifying to see Square Enix uh, developing content that's that's both interesting and, and dynamic, and uh, certainly looking forward to to more of this type of content. You know, the only if if I was to call it criticism that I would that I would say from 1.19 is I just wish there had been more you know fights or or contents like like the Ifrit battle because it, it, it sure is a lot of fun. Another new uh, great party feature in 1.19 is uh, the the addition of Beastmen Strongholds of which there are three currently uh, one was just added uh, in the last uh, 1.19a patch uh, Beastman Strongholds is kind of like the new, the new hot ticket in terms of of level grinding as well as um, camping, uh, sort of like small notorious monsters that drop keys that open chests. So you know here we have a party that's both leveling and farming uh, the key that drops from the uh, the named wolf, the the scarred uh, version of the these wolves, and there's a pretty cool uh, experience chain 18 which is a lot of experience <laughs> you know a lot of uh, crafting related things were added in 1.19 uh, tons of new recipes uh, which I talk more about in the the article version of the review but uh, uh, one of the cool new features is the materia system and the materia system is you know the best way to describe it would be you know, breaking down pieces of gear into into materia, which is sort of like the essence of of the item, you know, in a in a in a sort of like gem format. And then these gems called materia are then placed into pieces of gear and fused together using catalysts, which are you know gathered from from the the gathering you know disciple of land classes and. What I'm showing here is just the the myriad assortment of various types of materia, you know, which come in almost any type of uh, you know stat related use, um, and and it fills up your inventory fast. And and another thing they added in in 1.19, uh, which I'm going to be sorry to see go, is the addition of like 200 additional inventory slots and. Surprising or not surprisingly enough, I, I went I went through that pretty quick with with all the new items, and all the new materia, and all the new catalysts, and and uh, spirit bond gear. And and what I mean by spirit bond gear is, you know, with materia it needs to be broken down from gear, and gear needs to gain sort of like its own proprietary experience which is called spirit bond so parties will go to beastman stronghold type places and um, you know farm experience just to spirit bond gear and convert them into materia and whatnot so what I'm showing here is uh, some double and triple socketing rates uh, the rate here 
is demonstrating that even within the same rank of materia, these are, I'm both using you know mana thirst rank four materias, that the rate can change depending upon the stat value of the specific materia. So like a better version of a rank four materia will decrease your chances versus you know a lower quality version of the same exact materia. You know they're both rank four mana thirsts. So then we get into the catalysts, and the catalysts are also necessary in, in materia crafting. And um, the ability that, that's used in gathering is called fingertips, fingerprints of the gods. And uh, this ability is equipped uh, through your traits, and it activates when you're mining specific nodes. And what, what I mean by specific nodes is, uh, you know, on Lodestone they have a list of, of all the specific places to gather, you know, certain catalysts. A good example of that is you have to go to Camp Dragonhead to, to gather uh, fossil fossilized catalysts, and um, you would do that as a miner, and you could you could gather that catalyst nowhere else. It would it would need to be done there. So I'm traveling to Dragon to Dragonhead, and I'll show you guys that in a second. And of course, uh, one of the the, the biggest additions to 1.19 and uh, the kind of the one-year celebration fanfare is chocobo mounts. We now have them. They make gathering. They make everything awesome. They make everything easy, but they make gathering much easier. So you just kind of you can just ride your chocobo around. Uh, they they really did the mount system right in terms of its functionality. And and here of course I'm I'm gathering some catalysts. And once again, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media saying thank you for watching. And for the full article on Final Fantasy XIV, visit our site at www.technomicon.com.